Yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about four behaviors that show that you're afraid to lose a chick. All right. So sometimes you may be doing things that are displaying to the chick that you're scared to lose her, that you might be a little bit needy. And see, the thing is this, a, a woman should always feel as if, you know, she can be replaced to a certain extent you understand what i'm saying because when she feels that way that gets her to a certain level of respect for you meaning that if she feels like she can just have you and you're never going to go anywhere and you know you have no choice but to be with her and you know you feel lucky and you feel so lucky to be with her all that type of energy she's going to basically take you for granted um and she's not really going to respect you that like that you understand and sometimes what happens is you're displaying behaviors that are indicating to her that you feel like you know she's the best you will ever do that you have no other options that you know you're you're afraid to like lose her and when she feels that way she's going to take advantage of you and you know shit's not gonna be a good situation you feel what i'm saying so i'm gonna talk about four uh you know behaviors and there's you know a lot more but i'm just gonna talk about four of them right now that show that you're scared to lose her so if you notice that you're doing any of these things stop it and if you are doing any of these things she probably notices you're doing those things and she can tell that you're sort of like that type of guy who feels like he's scared to lose her you understand to lose to lose a chick right so the first one is being scared to check her for, uh, bad behavior so what happens is that if you're dealing with a chick and she you know has an attitude problem she's being sort of disrespectful here and there whatever and if you, you know, let it slide or you just sort of like, you know, laugh it off like it's nothing, like it's cute, you know, and you don't really address it or say anything, right? That's showing that, you know, you're basically being okay with her doing that type of shit. You understand? And so what happens is that the reason why you're okay with that is because you like her so much that you are scared to say anything because you think saying anything or doing anything is going to make her not like you or it's going to get her even more mad and she may end up not wanting to fuck with you. But the funny part is, is that actually by saying something and letting her know what the deal is, you understand that makes her have more respect for you and makes her want to continue to, you know, be with you more. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, don't be scared to check these chicks if they want some bullshit, you understand? It, don't, it, don't, it doesn't even have to be like, you know, anything crazy. And, and for those who want to learn how to check a chick correctly, make sure you go to badboymembership.com because I have a whole program called Check Your Girl and I teach you how to do that correctly, all right? So now, the second thing, second behavior that shows that you're scared to lose a chick is when you're calling her too much. When you're calling her too much. So, this is for, you know, when you're dating a girl. Like, if you if a girl's your girlfriend, you've been together for a few years, you guys can call each other however much you want. It don't really matter. Um, but if this is a girl that you are first dating, you understand? And you're calling her every five seconds and you're on some, oh, hey, good morning, how's it going, blah, 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 what you have for lunch, all this other stuff. When you're calling her too much, it, it, it makes you seem real needy. You understand? And the reason why you're calling her too much is because you feel, you may feel as if you need to sort of entertain this woman to keep her interested. You understand? So a lot of times if a guy like sets a date for the weekend and it's only Tuesday, he feels he needs to talk to her Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and throughout the whole week until the date comes because he feels that if he doesn't, then she may lose interest. But again, he again, he's doing that because he thinks she may lose interest, meaning that he thinks he may lose her. You see what I'm saying? So that behavior is showing that he thinks that he's going to lose her that, or that he's scared he's going to lose her. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I always say, look, you don't need to really be calling these chicks too much. You know, you could just set the date and, you know, call to confirm the date, see them on a date. That's it. You understand? Now, there are exceptions to the rule because there are certain girls who uh, may like the attention. And if they really like you, it may not necessarily matter that much. But in general... You understand calling a chick too much is not going to is not a good thing and it's going to, you know, make you look needy and the reason why you're doing it is cuz you're scared that you're going to lose the chick. Now, number 3, this is my favorite one cuz I see this happen a lot is being all up under your girl when other guys are trying to talk to her. 
being all up under your girl when other guys are trying to talk to her. Now, let me let me explain this. So let's say you are uh, at a party or bar with your girl or whatever. And let's say you y'all chilling and then you go to the bathroom and then you come back and then you see some dude talking to her. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll up and like put your arm around your girl and push her, you know, close to you so that he knows that that's your girl. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of shit is, is corny. You feel what I'm saying? So what you're doing is you're, you're, you're being all up under your girl because you think you're going to lose her to some other dude. And so what that's communicating to her is that you're not confident in yourself that she would actually want to actually be with you. You understand what I'm saying? You feel like you need to cuff her so that she won't leave you for some other dude. Right. And so this is, and this is happening subconsciously. You understand? So it's not anything that she's going to, you know, uh, say like, Oh, you know, you're doing this or, or you understand, but, but based off of your actions, that's what it's communicating to her on a subconscious level that you are not confident and who you are and not confident enough to think that she would want to continue to be with you because some other random dude is trying to talk to her or whatever. Right. So it's not it's not to say that you can't, you know, roll up and get into the conversation with both of them and just have a conversation, or whatever. But if you coming up and you start, uh, you know, grabbing up on it, like I, I've had I had times where I'm at a spot and I'm just chilling or whatever. And. Like, a, I remember this one girl, she talked, she was just talking, you just, you know, because I was like standing near her, she was near me, and I think she commented on something I was wearing, like a watch I had or something like that, and we just was like regular small talk, and I think her, she was with another girl, and her man was on his way there, or, or her man was on, her way th- on his way there, whatever, and so as the guy pulls up into the spot, you know, he sees me talking to his chick, and this nigga was mad extra with it. Like, he's all, you know, oh, he's hugging her from behind and kissing her on the neck and doing all this other shit and, and just staring at me like, I'm like, nigga, I don't want your girl, man. Relax. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, my dude, you about to lose this chick in a minute acting like that. You feel what I'm saying? So so you guys got to make sure that you're you're not doing that type of stuff. Like, if you see a dude talking to your chick, just let the shit rock. You feel what I'm saying? Or get into the conversation and then just have a regular conversation. You see what I'm saying? Like, I remember this dude, I, this dude was so, so player with it. I was like, and I told this nigga too. I, I shook this dude's hand. I was like, yo, you know what you're doing. So I remember I was at a spot. I walked in. I started talking to this chick. And I was I was going in heavy. You feel what I'm saying? And the dude who was the boyfriend he stood near us, but he wasn't like all of us to the point where I didn't even know he was the boyfriend. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm still going in. I'm talking to this girl, blah, 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 all this other shit and all that other stuff. And the dude just let me talk. And then so I said to the girl, I say, yo, listen, let, you know, we should get together, you know, uh, take down my number. And then she was like, oh, I can't. And she, I was like, she was like, my boyfriend's right there. So then she points to the guy. And then so... I see him and I was like, oh, what's good, my I was like, what's good, my dude, my bad. I didn't know that your girl was there, whatever. He's like, nah, nah, it's all good. He was like, and he said, and then he says to his girl, he says, yo, how you gonna be rude and not give the guy your number? That's messed up. You know, like, so he's playing around with it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he's making a joke out of it. So we're all laughing and shit. And then we're talking and he's like, yo, let me get you a drink. And we, so he buys me a drink. We start talking. We start chopping it up. And then the nigga was cool as hell. And so. I'm looking at the way his girl is looking at him and how she reacts to him. And I'm like, this nigga knows what the fuck he's doing. You feel what I'm saying? And so that's how you got to be. You got to be on some shit where you're just cool, calm and collected and chill with it. Cause you know, you that dude. So you don't got to be up there. Oh, I'm, you know, like, like, Oh, I'm scared to lose her and don't talk to my girl. And that's some, that's some corny shit. You understand what I'm saying? So make sure you guys understand that now. The last thing uh, that, you know, shows that you're the behavior that shows that you're scared to lose a chick is when you're allowing a girl to keep flaking on you. All right. You're allowing a girl to keep flaking on you. So this is when you, you try to set a date and the chick's like she may have set a date with you. And then next, you know, all of a sudden she's like, oh, I can't make it. I'm sorry. Can I, you know, can we do uh, next week, Tuesday or something? And you're like, all right, cool. Tuesday could work. And then Tuesday comes and she flakes on you. At that point, you, you should be done. Right. But then she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it or whatever. And then you end up calling her or trying to set up another date. And then she may 
uh, not respond or she may respond and say, yeah, let's get together. And then all of a sudden when it's time to get together, she's like, oh, I don't know if I can make it because and then you still trying to fuck with her. And I've seen dudes do this, too. It's it's ridiculous. You understand? And so the thing is, is that the reason why you're acting that way is because you're scared to lose her. You're scared to charge it to the game. And so by doing that, it's showing her that you don't respect yourself because she's just like, damn, I keep just I can just do whatever to this guy and he's still going to be there. You understand what I'm saying? And a lot of times when chicks do that, they're sort of looking at you like, OK, this guy will do anything. So I can if I want to get some money out of him or if I want to play him, I can do whatever I want to do. And then they, they end up doing that type of shit with you because since you're scared to lose or you're so like attached or you want it to happen, you end up doing that type of shit and see. These behaviors that you display, it, it shows that you're needy. It shows that you're insecure. You understand? When you do any of these type of things, when you're scared to lose the chick, and then the chick loses respect for you. You see what I'm saying? Because what makes a chick attracted to you is how you view yourself in, in your confidence and how you value yourself. Because that that's what makes her want to be around you. Because the thing is, the way that you act, right? It's going to make her see you a certain way. And the way that she sees you is going to either be attractive or unattractive. So what makes her see you as attractive or, you know, see you as valuable is a guy who respects himself. So when you respect yourself and you're not afraid to lose a chick and you just do your thing and you're like, this is what I'm about. This is what I tolerate. This is what I don't tolerate. She wants to fuck with you more because that makes you attractive. So she feels like she's with somebody who's valuable. She's with somebody who who, you know, uh, uh, is about some shit. She's not with someone who doesn't believe in himself, that is scared to, 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 to lose her. You see what I'm saying? Because she's looking at you like, why are you giving me this much power? And if you are giving me this much power, that means that you're not really powerful. So why would I fuck with you anyway? You see what I'm saying? So you, you got to you gotta understand that aspect of the game, all right? So listen, that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, make sure you click the link below, and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com